watching Shaw TV. I'm Curtis Anderson. I guess this is the first hit of the Food Bank Food Basket Challenge. Uh, this is something I agreed to do with a whole bunch of other uh, good people of Saskatoon. So first things first, there's some confused people out there. Allison, just give a background on this initiative. Sure, the Food Basket Challenge is a one-week challenge for people in Saskatoon to live on the contents of a food basket for one week and to blog about their experience. It's intended to generate awareness about poverty in Saskatoon. Already the viewers are like, wow, Curtis seems rattled, that's unusual, and I am. I, I signed on. Didn't really have a game plan, didn't really have an end game in mind to do this, but uh, I'm living out of all the food in this box for the, the next seven days. So I, I gotta know, is this, is this a standard like package that someone would get when they come and use the service? Yes, it is. So if you had come to the food bank today as a regular client or user, this is exactly what you would have gotten as a single person for two to three days. What do you hope these individuals walk away with? Like, why, why put this on? Because I know this has been so much work on your shoulders. Well, we hope that this deepens the understanding between people with the lived experience of poverty and people who don't have the lived experience of poverty. It's really about uniting the community. So whether you live on 8th Street or 20th Street, it's about coming together, understanding that poverty limits opportunities for everyone in our community, and just deepening that relationship. What have you seen just tonight in the last 10 minutes? People have gone to the front, like, you know, it's legit. We went and registered, got our numbers, waited to be called up, looked in their box. I mean, what's the, what's the atmosphere like here tonight with the people, the participants, I guess we are? Well, I think anxious, a little bit anxious. Um, you know, a lot of uncertainty. See people who have maybe had a lot of choice in their life. Now tonight they're facing the stark reality of having no choice on what their diet will be over the next week. Any advice for me? I, again, I'm just jumping into this. I haven't really done any research. I was just going to divide my food up seven ways and hope I make it through. Can you give me any a heads up? What do you know? What do you, what do you hear from people? What do they usually do? Just you know. I People can be very imaginative when it comes to supplementing their food. Um, like I said, this is only two days, it's meant to be two to three days worth of food, but people do have to stretch it out as you can use the food bank just once every two weeks. So I would say you could use one of the community meal programs like the Friendship Inn, Soup Kitchen. Um, some people, frankly, end up eating out of the garbage if they have to. So while I don't recommend you do that, um, you can certainly be imaginative in how you go about accessing food. Let's end on a high note. You have to be happy about the turnout, the quality of people who stepped up and agreed to this. Yeah, absolutely. It's just amazing to see. As a matter of fact, everyone who we asked was just so eager to get on board, and um, we're really excited to see all of the conversations that are already happening about this. Yeah, I've already met some uh, amazing people I've never met before in my life. You can follow us all through our hopefully daily blogs. I'll probably talk like, I'll probably seven, eight times a day because. I mean, really, I want to I want to share this experience with everybody. That's the whole point. So, where do people go for that? Uh, our website is foodbasketchallenge.com, and you can catch us on Facebook as well. Just Facebook uh, and look up Food Basket Challenge, and you'll find us. All right, I'm going to try to blog. I'm going to try to video blog. I'll do what I can. But uh, yeah, check it out. Day one. Here we are. Thank you so much for inviting us down here. I'm. I'm very scared, I'm not going to lie. I mean, this is drastically going to alter my life, but that was the point, so I'm, I'm also excited. Nervous and excited. Seven days, right there. I don't know. See, my expectations, I was really nervous coming here that it's just going to be like a box of like spam and craft dinner, and that would be it. But there's like lots of vegetables. I don't eat a lot of vegetables, so I'm going to have to eat those, which is probably healthy for me anyway. I've got like huge bag of potatoes that are clearly from someone's garden. I think a lot of people are donating like excess things from the gardens, which is great. I really didn't really know what to expect. I think I was um, just apprehensive about it. I think when I look forward to the week, I'm, you know, you have to sort of really figure out what you're going to do with the food, you know, when you're sort of used to kind of you know, buying what you need and thinking about a meal. And this is kind of the reverse. It's like, this is all you got. Now what can you do with it for the week? And I think the thing I'm worried about the most is sort of lunches and trying to get that to work and uh, that kind of thing. So. I don't know, it's still all kind of, I'm trying to think, what am I going to do with this food over this week? I already have a 
way bigger understanding of the food bank and how it operates and what services it does and what it doesn't offer. And after this, I'm, <laughs> I was thinking, the last time I donated food to the food bank, I was just like, here's some random canned stuff I never eat. I had like canned escargot and like weird crazy stuff. I was like, I'll give it to the food bank. But next time I donate food, it'll be like actual food I might want to eat personally, <laughs> not just like my cast offs. So.